guys, it's Shazzy, and I'm here with Mr. A Boogie. Swerving, how you look so perfect on your worst days. Double C, it purchase, you deserve it. Mr. Boogie, how you doing today? What's up, Jazzy? You right? I'm great. Well, I'm all right, too. And you ready for this interview? Yeah, it's about to be dope. What's up, you all right? Yep, all right. <laughs> so, how did being from Highbridge influence your music and creative process? Being from Highbridge just influenced me in all different like areas. When it comes to just growing up in the area, people just loving to play basketball. At the same time, of seeing the things that we're not supposed to be that teaches us, you know, to develop as as right. grown young men. So, um, I just want to, you know, shout out to Highbridge for the positive energy that they gave me throughout my whole life for that, you know, in general. Well, as you said, shouts to Highbridge, mm -hmm. and also it's great that they were able to teach you to be, you know, a respectful young man at a young time, you know, at a time that you really needed it, too. Exactly, exactly. So, I know that being a dad is something that you really cherish with all your heart. Again! <laughs> what are some of your favorite things to do with your children? I just love to be there with my kids, like, in general, just staring into their eyes. My son, you know, he's two years old now. My daughter's five years old. Shout out to Melody and little artist. So, um... Yeah, I'm just teaching them new things, teaching my little son how to swim. We got a pool, pool in the back now, you know, trying to get right. that going, little things like that. Melodies, you know, she's she's been in school for the past few years, so, you know, she's getting real, real smart right now. Or, and I just want to keep on going with that with my son, same thing, you know. Right, and it seems like you really love being a dad now. I mean, it seems like you're really having fun, especially with teaching your son how to swim. Exactly, yeah, I'm, li I'm living my life. Right, and who knows, he might be a professional swimmer one day. Exactly, anything he wants to do, he can do, it, basically. Right. So Carter B and I have a debate between where the chopped cheese was originated and which bro makes it the best. All right. So she says the Bronx, obviously, because she's from there. I don't care what nobody say. The Bronx make the chopped cheese. You heard? The Bronx made the chopped cheese. And I want your intake on this. So I'm I want to know. The same thing. I'm jacking the same thing. Like I don't know any other bro that was jacking chopped cheese with the mayonnaise and ketchup. No, they was probably doing some other, you know, other format, but, you know, right. I think it's original, you know, BX, we here. Yeah, but I interviewed some people from Harlem, and they were saying that, you know, it's from there, and that's the best borough that they make it. And in my opinion, I feel like Brooklyn makes it the best, but hey, that's just my opinion, so well, I don't know. Harlem is across the street from, you know, the Bronx, so they could walk over here and get a chopped cheese anytime, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> they probably get it from the Bronx anyway, so it's the same thing, man, Harlem, Bronx. All right. Well, I feel like all chopped cheeses are basically made the same. It's just that, you know, it's like the toppings that they make on it. Yeah, yeah. And some people, they put, like, mayo and ketchup. It's the seasoning, it's the toppings, it's the ketchup and the mayonnaise format. That's all. Right, the right, ketchup right. Ketchup and the mayo do it. If you're, not, if, you, if, you, if you're from New York, you can't do a chopped cheese without mayonnaise and ketchup. Or you just sloppy with it. I don't know. Oh. Don't know. If you put in just ketchup, you weird. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a Bev. Can't forget the Bev. Never, never, never. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm, most definitely. <laughs> well, can you please share some words of motivation to everyone watching my show? Just keep on, you know, just keep on going in life. Whatever um, people think that you're a failure at, just show them that you're not a failure. Keep on going, man. Word. Well, you heard it, guys, from Mr. A Boogie himself. So until next time, jazzing out. You already.